Hi hey YouTube, this is going to be the July 2019 Toolbox Tour. I don't know why people want to see this again, but they've been getting requests. Uh, everyone wants to see it over again, so here we go. The main box here is an uh, SPG International 56 inch wide tech series. Now the company went out of business so you can't even uh, buy this toolbox any longer that I'm aware of. I haven't heard any news about them. But uh, I've owned it uh, just it's it's been almost just over two years now. Still happy with it. No issues or problems. And it served me well. So we're about to get started. And again, if you've seen my other videos, I don't think there's too much new in here that I can think of, but just old uh, Sun Automotive Meter, Craftsman, Fluke, Fluke, uh, this ACDC uh, Clamp Meter, that came from Amazon, Scope on a Rope, Half Inch, Three Eighths, Quarter Inch, uh, Click Style, torque wrenches the back two are marked right tool they're all CDI units CDI makes them for right tool uh, this is a motorcycle tool for uh, oil in the fork height for removing the faucets in your kitchen or bathroom blow out your garden hose with this before winter uh, Pry bars, don't ask, just a little tray with extra stuff in it, these are uh, tire valve stem tools that were just in my last video, new, infrared thermometer, the Carlisle uh, wire stripping tools, and just got some uh, calipers, and other goof stuff. Up here, I did move some stuff around since my last one, but uh, I just I put extra ratchets in here that you know rarely used type stuff, pipe wrenches. I guess this is a chain. I moved this stuff over from the smaller box over to the main one here. These are all. Well, not all. I guess my right tool ones are in here. But, uh, besides those right tool ones, everything else in here is, uh, JIS. 95% vessel. It just made more sense, because this is right next to my bike lift. Working on Japanese bikes, it just keeps them closer. The old uh, hosing models in the back. And I moved everything SAE into this drawer. Both uh, wrenches and sockets. Got what little SAE tools I own. They're just kept in this uh, one drawer now. pliers if I need it I seem to have it these are the new newest pairs these Japanese models that were in uh, just my last video Oh, the Mayhew cable pliers, extra keys, this is a terminal pick kit, and the uh, Nico Tech, it was also in my last video. I tried to make this one, uh, it's mostly uh, motorcycle specific tools, just chain tool here, uh, wheel bearing puller, or that's actually a blind bearing. This is the wheel bearing puller. I also have the Carlisle screwdrivers in there. 
over here a little just extra junk and stuff ballast all loctite main metric sockets and ratchets don't think there's anything new in here my top drawer only tour if you want a little more in depth on this everything in here is metric the Vim bit kit I need something metric, it's in a uh, socket or ratchet wise, it's in this drawer. Again, metric, everything in here. These are the uh, Carlisle anti slip models, Tecton stubbies, stall wheel deep offset, top tool. Uh, stubby offsets and then a uh, right tool satin and fully polished here more wrenches the uh, gear wrench gearbox models this is the bigger set and then you'll see in some other types goes up to 25 millimeter Cornwell high performance these are the Kawasaki these are from Japan and the fake them angles side wrenches or pipe like they call them pipe something not popular in the USA I like them though Uh, the sockets in the back are top tool. These are uh, Aries mid depths. Don't even remember why I bought those. Uh, the Carlisle 90 tooth. These are available in many different brands. Uh, I guess the unique thing about the Carlisle is they are 90 tooth versus most of the other brands are 72. Carlisle reversible ratchet wrenches. I guess a funny thing on the Garage Journal, oh, it was sometime this year, that uh, another guy had bought a set of these, and the set he bought on the selector switch in, on here, it actually has Matco on it, on the set he bought. So, you know. If you want to spend three times the amount, just buy these in the Matco brand. They're the exact same wrenches, though. Carlisle Flex Head Ratchet Wrenches. These are teeny torque adapters. Uh, right Tool Flare Nut Wrenches. And King Dick Made in England Combination Wrenches. There's some old master mechanic stuff there. Hammers, punches, chisels. Don't see anything new or different in here. This is a file kit. Top tool. Some more uh, uh, drum brake tools. Luckily I don't own any vehicles that have drum brakes any longer. Pneumatics drawer. There's a couple of the sockets are in my last video. And actually, I just made an Amazon order uh, yesterday of more tools, believe it or not. So maybe I'll get a video up of that late next week or so. Oh, this was another new tool I didn't put in my last video. This is uh, the Kel Sport. This is uh, for shooting fluid film or wool wax. I did buy a new car this year. 
I'm going to uh, slather it up with a fluid film here before winter. This is the Pro model. It comes with these flexi tips. I did buy the other one as well. I think it's in the smaller toolbox, but we'll see. Over here, Jesus. Oh, I took a lot of the motorcycle specific tools out, but it's the vessel. I know I have a video on that. It's a quarter inch drive metric sockets. Uh, the Motivex one is there. That was in the last video. A Black Hawk, that's also metric. Some poolers down there. Uh, the Gear Wrench Serpentine Belt tool set. Uh, thread Restore, Tap and Die. And uh, Torx bit set there. All these sockets are quarter inch drive metrics. The Cougar Pro reversible ratchet wrenches. Cougar Pro's division of right tool. Fakem obstruction wrenches. SK, the flex socket wrenches. Uh, right tool metric nut drivers. SK Crowfoot flare nut wrenches and Craftsman. It's these SK, these are uh, six point combination wrenches. These are uh, all hex or Allen tools. All right, we'll go over to the smaller box. I did say uh, there, there's some of the fluid film. I think this will be easier to shoot the doors with in my car. I already got one of these uh, fluid film flows much better when it's warm so I filled one of those up in anticipation of doing that this is a Motivex tool it's specific to my new car where it screws in where your oil filler goes I don't I don't know if people know the new car look at that weight oil OW16 that's what it takes Uh, you know, case of oil filters, factory. Oh, it, oh yeah, these, uh, these are the oil filter sockets. I guess the story, I just, I bought the, uh, one specific one for my car at first, and they sent the wrong size. So they refunded my money on Amazon, and I turned around and I bought every single one that they had listed. I think it's a, the 64 millimeter. I figure I'll get it right this time, whichever one fits best. That'll uh, be the one I use. Oh yeah, uh, new crush washers. Onto the toolbox. It's all drill bits in here. And the screwdrivers that used to be in the main big box, I moved over to here. Since, you know. Zip ties, cable ties. Always nice to have a selection of those. Uh, Steelman Pro. These were just in my last video. They look they fit nice in this drawer, so that's their new home. Big Orbis uh, snap ring pliers. My old pair of 
Klein Dykes. Rags, drill, more drill bits, extra hardware. Old uh, Dremel bit kit. There is my Dremel and Dewalt grinder. And my Dewalt plug and electric drills. Extra wire brushes and stuff. Uh, let's see, I guess firearms are tools, right? We'll do a quick peek in here. Uh, Beretta 92FS Smith & Wesson M&P Compact 40 caliber Smith & Wesson 686 357 Magnum and uh, Colt Government 1911 extra magazines uh, up front at uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 15 uh, Remi Remington 580 or maybe is that 780 12 gauge another uh, that's the Smith & Wesson M&P 22 and in the back is the high point 9 millimeter carbine my daughter Loves that rifle. That's her favorite one to shoot. There's you know, more cases. Also have the Beretta M922. It's my daughter's. It's in there somewhere. Oh, this is also my daughter. This is uh, what is that? The 380 EZ. Daughter loves that. Just ammo and this is the Rock Island 38 Special M200. Close that back up. So that's about it. I know that's a much quicker version than I normally do, but people that wanted to see it, there you go. And again, I just said I made another Amazon tool order yesterday. It should be here sometime next week. And if I have time, I'll show you what I get then. So as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.